In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the new Citrix project Excalibur on our Windows Server 2012. So first off, we need to open PowerShell as an administrator and then install the .NET frameworks. There's a link below this video that you can copy and paste the command. So after the frameworks is installed, we are going to open the catalog which contains the Excalibur software. This has already been downloaded from MyCitrix. And we are going to install what's called a delivery controller. So we accept the license agreement, install all the core components, since this is a technical preview, and the setup will also install SQL Server Express, which is a requirement. So we're just going to do a fast forward. Uh, the installation is finished. And we're now going to launch Citrix Studio. And here we are going to do the basic configuration. So we're going to click the start under full deploy. And we're going to give the database a name. Here you can also point to another SQL server if you'd like. But since this is a technical preview, I like to install everything on the on the same box. So we're going to type in the IP address of our hypervisor. I'm using send server, so I'll type in the credentials here. And the wizard will contact send server and it says that we have a network adapter so we're going to give this a name and we're also going to select which storage so now that we have a basic configuration we need to configure our golden image so we are heading over to our golden image machine Then we're going to head over to the installation media. And this time we're going to install delivery agent. So we select to build a master image. And we're going to specify the address of our delivery controller. We can click the connection to verify that it's OK. And then add this controller. As you can see, the setup wizard takes care of everything, setting up the firewall and so on. So we fast forward, rebooted the machine, and uh, what we're going to do now is install Office 2013. So I already downloaded the uh, setup tools. So we're going to run the wizard to extract the content. 
gonna put it on the temp folder. Then we navigate to the temp folder and make a copy of the admin catalog. And then we paste this admin catalog inside of the Office 2013 catalog. So to configure Office 2013, we select setup slash admin, which will launch the Microsoft Office customization tool. So we're going to type in the organization name. We're going to click on licensing and user interface. And here you need to add your product license. Then we're going to do some configuration. All these settings that you need to apply, you will find at blog.stealthpuppy.com. That's Arn Parker's blog and he's a uh, Citrix CTP. The reason why we are setting these settings in this tool is because they will apply once when the user start the application for the first time. If you set all these settings as you can do in group policy, these settings will apply every time the user logs on. I'm just going to set a couple of settings here to give you a feeling how it works. And what you should do is to add a exchange profile or Outlook profile. This way the user's Outlook will be automatically configured the first time they start Outlook. So what you do is select to customize, select exchange, then give it an account name, just gonna call it exchange. Username is percent username percent, so it's gonna use the user's username. And I type in the address of my exchange server. And you have more settings, advanced caching mode and so on, but uh, this uh, setting is it's good enough. So when we are satisfied with all the settings, we're going to save this file. And what's important is that you need to save this inside of the update catalog inside of your office media. So we go inside the office media, navigate to the updates catalog, and then save this MSP file. So when we now head back to our golden image server, we're going to run the office setup. And because we have this MSP file inside of the updates catalog, the setup exe will automatically use the settings that we configured. Fast forward, the installation is finished. So what we're going to do now is do a restart and then head back to delivery control to finalize the configuration. So we're now going to select to create a machine catalog. 
we're going to deliver Windows Server Operation System. There are virtual machines. We're going to use Machine Creation Services, which you have installed. And here we're going to select the golden image. Uh, we're going to create two machines. Now you're going to use the default CPU and memory. And I'm going to put those machines inside our organization unit that I created earlier called Escalibur. And then I'm going to give the server a naming scheme. I'm going to use double hash so you get 01, 02, and so on. We're going to give it a description, this machine catalog. So what's happened now is uh, Citrix Studio creates the machine catalog and also configure these two virtual machines based on the golden image I've created earlier. So to finalize, we need to create a delivery group. We're going to add these two machines that we created. We're going to give access to domain users. We're not going to select uh, Scalable to handle the profile right now. We're going to do that ourselves. And then we're going to give it a display name. And this display name is actually what shows up in, in storefront or, or web interface that you that you know from earlier. So to get access to to this solution, we need to configure storefront and also start the service. So if I select these two servers and right click, I can select to to start them on my send server. So I'm going to select Citrix Storefront, and in this example, we are going to create a new deployment without SSL. This is not this is not recommended. You should create an SSL certificate first because it's a pain in the ass doing this afterwards. So do yourself a favor and create a SSL certificate first. So we're going to give it a name. We're just going to call the store for a store. And then we're going to add our delivery controller. We're using HTTP. And the address is EDDC01. Next, we're not going to configure any remote access, so we're going to set this to none. And the store is successful, and we're now going to access. And we log on with our credentials. And here we are logged in and the office applications function as we configure them in the office customization result. And that's it.